Imagine a world where clean, potable water is not a distant dream, but a readily available resource, even in the most arid regions. Atmospheric Water Harvesting, AWH, is making this vision a reality, transforming the very air we breathe into a vital source of life. This innovative technology extracts water vapor from the atmosphere, converting it into drinkable water, offering a profound solution to the escalating global water scarcity. Our planet faces an unprecedented water crisis. Climate change, rapid population growth, and industrial demands are depleting traditional freshwater sources at an alarming rate. Rivers are drying, aquifers are shrinking, and millions lack access to safe drinking water. This crisis not only impacts human health and development, but also severely threatens biodiversity and ecosystem stability. ADWH emerges as a critical tool in our collective effort to mitigate these dire environmental and humanitarian challenges. AWH systems ingeniously mimic Earth's natural hydrological cycle, specifically the processes of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. The fundamental principle revolves around condensation. When warm, moist air encounters a sufficiently cold surface, water vapor transforms into liquid water droplets. This process, often observed as dew forming on grass or fog clinging to mountainsides, is harnessed and optimized by AWH technologies. Understanding the dew point, the temperature at which air becomes saturated with water vapor and condensation begins, is crucial for efficient water extraction. Various sophisticated methods are employed to capture atmospheric moisture. Each approach is tailored to specific environmental conditions and energy considerations. These diverse technologies highlight the ingenuity applied to this critical challenge. Fog nets, or cloud water collectors, are among the simplest and most environmentally benign AWH systems. These large, mesh-like structures are strategically placed in areas experiencing frequent fog. As fog, which is essentially a low-lying cloud composed of tiny water droplets, passes through the fine mesh, the droplets coalesce and are collected in troughs below. This method is entirely passive, requiring no external energy input, making it ideal for remote, off-grid communities. Projects in Chile, Morocco, and Eritrea have successfully implemented fog nets, providing sustainable water to thousands while leaving a minimal ecological footprint. Dew condensers operate by cooling a surface below the dew point of the surrounding air, causing water vapor to condense. Many modern dew condensers utilize the principle of radiative cooling, where a specially designed surface radiates heat into the cold night sky, becoming cooler than the ambient air. Materials with high emissivity in the atmospheric window, 8, 13 micrometers, are particularly effective. These systems often work best in regions with clear night skies and high humidity, offering a passive or low energy solution for water collection. For environments with lower relative humidity, sorbent materials offer a promising solution. These materials, including silica gel, zeolites, metal organic frameworks, MOFs, and specialized composite sorbents possess a porous structure that allows them to absorb water vapor from the air. The process involves two main stages, adsorption, where the sorbent material passively absorbs moisture, and desorption, where the absorbed water is released, typically by heating the material. MOFs, in particular, are highly tunable and can be engineered to selectively capture water at very low humidity levels, representing a significant leap in AWH capabilities. The energy required for desorption is a key consideration, with research focusing on solar thermal regeneration to minimize the environmental impact. Once captured, the water undergoes a collection and processing phase. While some AWH systems produce water that is inherently pure due to the distillation-like nature of condensation, further filtration may be applied to remove any airborne particulates. Many systems also incorporate remineralization, adding essential minerals like calcium and magnesium to improve taste and nutritional value. This ensures the final product is not only safe, but also palatable, addressing potential cultural barriers to adoption. AWH technologies can be broadly categorized based on their energy requirements, each presenting unique advantages and considerations for environmentalists. The choice between active and passive systems often depends on local climate, energy availability, and sustainability goals. 
Active AWH systems require an external energy source to power the condensation process. These typically involve refrigeration cycles, similar to air conditioners, where air is drawn over a cooled coil to condense moisture. Desiccant-based systems, which use a desiccant material to absorb moisture and then regenerate it using heat, also fall into this category. While active systems can produce larger volumes of water and operate across a wider range of humidity conditions, their energy consumption is a critical factor. For environmentalists, the focus is on integrating these systems with renewable energy sources, like solar photovoltaics or wind power, to minimize their carbon footprint. Advances in energy efficiency, such as improved heat exchangers and smart controls, are continuously reducing their operational energy demand. Passive AWH systems operate with minimal or no external electricity, relying instead on natural phenomena. Fog nets and certain dew condensers are prime examples. A groundbreaking development in this area is the passive water harvester developed by a team at MIT, which utilizes a specialized hydrogel material. This hydrogel is designed to absorb water vapor from the air during cooler, humid nights, and then release it as liquid water during warmer, drier days, all without an external power source. This innovative material leverages temperature differentials in material properties, offering a truly off-grid solution. Passive systems are highly appealing to environmentalists due to their low operational costs, minimal maintenance, and negligible environmental impact, making them ideal for remote communities and disaster relief. AUH offers a compelling suite of benefits that resonate deeply with environmental principles and sustainable development goals. Its potential to transform water access while minimizing ecological harm is immense. AWH provides a crucial additional source of clean water, particularly vital in arid and semi-arid regions where traditional water sources are scarce or contaminated. As climate change intensifies droughts and alters precipitation patterns, AWH offers a resilient, localized water supply. It reduces the pressure on dwindling groundwater reserves and surface water bodies, allowing these critical ecosystems to recover. This technology acts as a buffer against the impacts of climate variability, enhancing water security for vulnerable populations and ecosystems alike. Unlike energy-intensive desalination plants or environmentally disruptive large-scale dam projects, AWH offers a more sustainable pathway to water security. It reduces reliance on finite freshwater reserves, promoting a circular approach to water management. By tapping into the atmospheric water cycle, AWH systems do not deplete existing water bodies or alter natural hydrological flows. When powered by renewable energy, their carbon footprint is minimal, aligning perfectly with climate change mitigation efforts. This technology embodies the principles of resource conservation and ecological stewardship. The decentralized nature of AWH systems is a significant advantage. They can be deployed in remote areas, off-grid locations, and even individual households, eliminating the need for extensive and costly water distribution infrastructure. This localization reduces energy consumption associated with pumping and transportation and minimizes land disturbance. Decentralized systems also enhance community resilience, providing a reliable water source independent of centralized grids, which can be vulnerable to natural disasters or infrastructure failures. This empowers communities to manage their own water resources sustainably. A remarkable feature of AWH is its ability to produce high-quality potable water, often surpassing the purity of conventional tap water. The condensation process inherently purifies the water, leaving behind contaminants and pollutants. In many instances, the water produced is immediately drinkable without further treatment, making it a safe and reliable source for human consumption. This purity is particularly beneficial in areas where existing water sources are heavily polluted, offering a direct pathway to improved public health and sanitation. While AWH holds immense promise, its widespread adoption faces several challenges that require innovative solutions and careful consideration. Addressing these hurdles is crucial for maximizing its environmental and societal benefits. The initial investment cost of AWH systems can be a barrier, particularly for individual ownership or small communities. While operational costs can be low, especially for passive systems, the upfront capital expenditure for more advanced or larger scale units can be substantial. However, as technology matures and manufacturing scales, 
costs are expected to decrease. Environmentalists advocate for policies and incentives that support the adoption of sustainable technologies, recognizing the long-term environmental and social returns on investment. The true cost must also factor in the avoided costs of water scarcity and environmental degradation. Traditional active AWH systems can be energy intensive, leading to high operational expenses and a significant carbon footprint if powered by fossil fuels. This is a critical concern for environmentalists. The imperative is to integrate AWH systems with renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind, or geothermal power. Significant research and development are focused on improving energy efficiency and developing hybrid systems that maximize renewable energy utilization. The goal is to achieve net zero or even carbon negative water production, aligning with global climate goals. Public education and community engagement are essential to overcome cultural barriers and build trust in AWH systems. In some regions, there may be skepticism about the hygiene and quality of water produced from the air or a preference for traditional water sources. Demonstrating the safety, purity, and reliability of AWH water through pilot projects, community workshops, and transparent quality testing is vital. Highlighting the environmental benefits and the empowerment of local water management can foster greater acceptance and adoption. Some condensation-based AWH systems require relatively high ambient humidity to operate efficiently. This limits their applicability in extremely arid environments. However, significant scientific advancements are addressing this limitation. Innovations in sorbent materials, particularly MOFs, are enabling water harvesting at much lower relative humidity levels. Furthermore, research into hybrid systems that combine different AWH technologies or integrate with other renewable energy sources is expanding the operational envelope, making AWH viable in a broader range of climates. Atmospheric water. Harvesting is not merely a technological marvel, it is a beacon of hope in our quest for a sustainable future. It represents a paradigm shift in how we perceive and manage our most precious resource. For environmentalists, AWH offers a tangible, scalable solution that aligns with principles of conservation, climate resilience, and equitable resource distribution. It empowers communities, reduces ecological footprints, and provides a pathway to water security in a changing world. We must champion the research, development, and widespread deployment of AWH technologies. Support policies that incentivize sustainable water solutions, invest in renewable energy integration for AWH systems, and educate your communities about the immense potential of this groundbreaking innovation. Let us collectively embrace atmospheric water harvesting as a cornerstone of our sustainable future, ensuring clean water for all for generations to come. Hey, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update.